Good evening, my name is Kacper Paradowski and you're watching Poland Daily News. The lower chamber of Polish parliament, the same, is to debate on Monday on changes to the electoral code proposed by the Law and Justice Party. The ruling party proposed to conduct the presidential elections on the previously set date of May 10th, allowing the voters to cast their votes by correspondence. The Polish Post would play a key role in the entire operation. The Law and Justice Party agreed to the proposition of Vice Prime Minister Jarosław Gowin to give the President seven years in office instead of five, with a possibility of re-election. Nonetheless, the ruling party would need two-thirds of the same votes to change the constitution, meaning this would need to be supported by the opposition as well. The Civic Coalition and the left already stated that they won't back the idea. In the current constitution, with no need to change it, there are mechanisms to conduct the elections when it is safe. Today, anyone who tries to force through a date of the elections without knowing what the situation with the pandemic will be behaves like a fortune teller. In turn, Liberal leader Władysław Kosiniak-Kamysz stated that there is not enough time to change the constitution. There are 30 days to the first reading and 14 days to the second one. That's 44 days, so already past May 10th. What the government needs to do is first introduce the state of natural disaster and then sit down and talk with Jarosław Gowin, who managed to stand his ground. Yesterday, the Law and Justice Party Club proposed an amendment to the Electoral Code so that the elections could take place with voting by correspondence. The ballots would be sent to all polls by the Polish Post. However, the municipalities and mayors, including the mayor of Warsaw, warned that it would be impossible to conduct. It will be simply impossible to do due to security reasons. The Minister of State Assets, Jacek Sasin, and Minister of Health, Łukasz Szumowski, are to come up with a detailed plan of delivering the voting ballots to voters and a way for the voters to then deliver them to the electoral commissions. Additionally, Minister Szumowski is to prepare special recommendations for members of the commissions to avoid infection due to coronavirus. He also stated that he will hand his official recommendation regarding the election once he has the appropriate data regarding the pandemic, which won't be before the second half of April. From today's unofficial information, it seems that Jarosław Gowin's political group will support the proposition of law and justice to conduct the elections via correspondence after all. The number of infections due to the novel coronavirus in Poland is still growing. The Ministry of Health has confirmed several new cases today. According to the Ministry, laboratories across the country are currently conducting around 5,000 tests a day for the presence of the virus. The Ministry of Health informed about 244 new infections with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. In total, the number of people who have fallen ill due to the COVID-19 disease in Poland increased to 3,627. To date, 79 people have died in our country. The National Health Fund announced today that patients and medical staff at all hospitals will be guaranteed access to testing for the presence of the virus. In a speech delivered to the Polish Parliament, Minister of Health Łukasz Szumowski stated that if it had not been for the early measures taken by the government to protect the country from the dangerous pandemic, the situation in Poland would have been much worse. The new daily infection rates, reaching up to 400, show that the number of infections is increasing and will over time be overwhelming. Whether we can reduce it is up to us. There are no indications that the pandemic will be extinguished in the next few weeks, so we are analyzing with the Prime Minister the possibilities of further actions in the coming weeks. The global coronavirus outbreak has now reached the overcrowded asylum centers in Greece. The first case was recorded at a hospital in Athens, where a 19-year-old migrant giving birth was tested for the virus. After conducting further tests in the Ritsona camp, where she was staying, a further 20 migrants tested positive for the virus. 
The Ministry of Migration has announced a quarantine of a migrant camp where 20 asylum seekers tested positive for coronavirus, according to an announcement made on Thursday. None of the confirmed cases had shown any symptoms. The Ritsona camp houses some 2,500 migrants who live in housing containers with proper heating and hot water. Migration Ministry General Secretary Manolis Logothesis said that ready meals were being distributed to the migrants so that they would not have to leave their containers or queue in line for food. We have been distributing hygiene supplies since yesterday. There are more coming and they will be continuously distributed. People in the camp are being informed every two hours about what is happening. They are given instructions on movement restrictions and what they should be doing as well. The camp has been reinforced with more doctors and nurses who are testing for coronavirus on both migrants and the personnel. None of the personnel in the camp has contracted the virus so far. 2,000 boxes containing meals have arrived, and this way they will receive meals without having to leave their containers. We have reinforced the health facilities here with doctors and nurses, so I believe that the situation is very good. Any movement in and out of Ritsona camp will be restricted for 14 days. Police will monitor the implementation of the measures. The camp has a designated isolation area for coronavirus patients. On Thursday, workers were seen closing holes in the camp's barbed wire fence. Greece hosts some 100,000 migrants, of which 40,000 are on the islands. Aid agencies have warned that Greece's overcrowded camps are at high risk for the spread of the virus. Thus far, the country has recorded 1,415 cases and the virus has taken the lives of 50. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for Poland Daily Business. Good night.